What's up, my people? Happy Wednesday, everybody. So was Audra too good for Tucker? I think so. Look, um, my top criticism for Audra over these years has been I want her, I wanted better for her. I wanted her her to finally have a human side be out. And now that we have the human side of her, I'm cool with her now. So she's too good for Tucker. Like I know Tucker is right that Ashley is out of her mind. However, I don't care. I don't like Tucker. I don't think I don't want him to rob Audra of her youth. Audra is too good looking to waste her youth on Tucker. Like, gross. She needs someone that's young and vibrant that she can have babies with. I mean, that's young and up to the task for her to have babies with. Unlike, thing, Tucker will dump Audra and sleep with Tracy Abbott. Well, good. Tucker is more on Tracy Abbott's level. Hey, Dewan. Hey, Queen Nikisha. Queen Nikisha says, good evening. Kyrie's in chat. I'll be tuning in from work. So do you think Ava will take the blame for Sunny's meds because she left her fingerprints on the bottle? Or do you think Ava will figure out that the meds were tampered with by somebody else? I'm on the fence. Could be either. I'm just glad I was wrong and that Ava didn't deal with it. Yep, I'm so glad my Ava Jerome on General Hospital today was vindicated. I done told every last one of you that my Ava wouldn't do that to Sunny. I knew she wouldn't, and I was right. I was a thousand percent right. Ashley was funny talking about Sharon saying what her experience teaching me how to serve coffees and muffins. Hello, Al. Hey, Melanie. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Gemini. Um. <laughs> hey, Avery. How are you? Yeah, I knew that um, Ava Jerome didn't switch Sonny's medication. Everybody was so sure that she sw she's working with Valentine. She switched his medication. But I told you my Ava grew as a person. She is a mother to Avery, and she's a good mother to her. So she would not risk losing custody for good, losing all of her parental rights by switching Sonny's medication, because she knows she would lose. What Ava's trying to do is she want to be the new Mrs. Corinthos, because she wants back into that mob life, pretty much, but she wants to be Sonny's right-hand person. That's what she wants. So that's why she would rather kiss his ass every chance that she gets, because she's a conniving opportunist, always has been. That that's not that's not a surprise, but she didn't switch his medication. I knew she wouldn't do that. Glad Jason reminded Sonny if he wanted Sonny dead, Sonny gone, he wouldn't have missed. I think she's trying to find her place. Who's trying to find her place? Audra Charles or Ava Jerome? Um, I I love that Sharon. Kay says Sharon Newman is back to shine in the spotlight. Well, she is a good actress. That's for sure. But um, Avery Tyson means Audra. Well, yes, Audra Charles is absolutely trying to find her place. And I'm I'm so proud of her for opening herself up. She she showed me that she does have a heart. I knew that she was too beautiful not to have a heart in the long run. Like she's been so heartless from the moment she came in here in here. She didn't genuinely care about anyone, but at least she genuinely cares about someone. I'm just mad that it's Tucker. Hashtag heartbreak high. Yes, tomorrow. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Matter of fact, uh, I think at midnight it might be. I'm going to watch that first thing in the morning. Nina and Drew is how Carly and Sunny got started with that hate sex. Absolutely. Nina and Drew, they definitely have some chemistry, but Nina was tripping today. Nina was on one today. Talk about, you took advantage of me. That man did not take advantage of you. You ripped his shirt off, girl. Like, Nina's my girl, but don't, I'm not about to make the, no BS excuses for her like that. If she don't stop her neurotic, sit her little neurotic ass down, she knows she wanted every bit of that vitamin D that she got. So she need to stop it. He ain't take advantage of nothing.
I got bad news that Redding Monso as Harrison is going to get targeted by Jordan by kidnapping him and chloroforms Claire for Harrison April 12th. So the rumor is true about Harrison. Her and Tucker is not a believable couple. Absolutely, they're not. I 100% agree with you, Avery, because the Audrey Charles needs someone more on her level. Now, Nate, I want him. I want Nate with Tracy Abbott, even though that's another unbelievable couple. But that would be an interesting twist of a storyline. But, however, Nate and Audra is more believable. Or who else could Audra be with? Audra could get back with Noah if she ha if he has a personality this time around. Or Audra could be with um thing like Nate. Yeah, Nate is more on Audra's level. I have to admit it. Nate and Audra is a way more realistic couple than Nate and Tracy. I need to stop with my delusion. Kyrie's is not going to last in paradise with Audra and Tucker being together. Absolutely not. Audra needs a real man that's more on her level. I see straight up. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was delusional with the whole Nate and Tracy. And then CJ Clove 18 says, I like to see Drew and Jordan. Yeah. Nina is going to force a relationship with Willow instead of giving Willow space to make her own decision. Now, Willow is the one in the wrong. Willow is pathetic because may I remind you, Monique, that Willow told Nina that you're not going to lose me. When Nina told Willow, I'm just so scared of losing you. I made so many mistakes and I don't know how to fix how to fix those mistakes. I'm just so afraid of losing you. And Willow looked Nina in the eyes and said, you're not going to lose me. And then the second she found out Nina made a move against her precious Carly, then Willow said, no, don't touch me. So Willow is fake and phony, sexy and schemes. Yes, that defines Audra. What? Not Kyrie talking trash about Willow. I thought she was your favorite. Those days are long gone. Uh-uh. She turned against my girl Nina like that. She played Nina's emotions like that. I couldn't have that. So Willow is on my dog list, and she's going to stay on my dog list for a good while. She got some, she got a lot of and then you know who else, Nikisha, is on my list? Dex. Dex is definitely permanently on my list. I despise Dex Heller with every fiber of my being. I despise that boy because he's a snitch. He's a whole snitch. I, I will never forgive Dex for that, for being a snitch. That was it. That, that that was just the final straw that broke the camel's back. I already didn't like that he was with Jocelyn, but now it's worse that he's a snitch. And Nate, too. Yes. Um, Nate, Nate is conniving, too. But I think that Nate is um, doing better, too. Like, Nate and Audra, the writers are really redeeming them lately. Oh, well, well, I never cared for Dex too much too much for Dex. I want Josh to find out that he told on her mom and brother too. Yep. Hey, Darby. How are you? Um, yeah. I can't believe I was once blinded by Dex. I don't know why, but those days are gone. And Ashley Abbott, she needs to get into therapy real quick. I hate Claire with a purple passion because this is all her fault, teaming up with Jordan to take the Newmans down by almost killing them, and now Harris is getting kidnapped because Evan is a cutie. Well, I'm fine. Um, Darby says I'm fine, Kyrie, but not as fine as Tracy Abbott. Look. Today, oh, speaking of Tracy Abbott, yo, that scene broke my heart when she had the ner when Ashley's altar had the nerve to tell her that to throw in her face that 
their father called Ashley his beauty. I'm like, so she basically tried to call Tracy ugly today? That was very disrespectful. Tracy Abbott is not ugly at all. All right? She's a beautiful woman on the inside and out. So, Ashley, when you get when you get in your right, when Ashley wakes up and this devil is gone, she better give Tracy a heartfelt apology. It's heartbreaking to see Ashley in the dark, but at least her family loves her and wants her to get help. Well, her family, as in Jack, um, Tracy, and Billy, because I I agreed with the devils, I mean, with the evil personalities thing about Diane. I never felt comfortable with Diane Jenkins being there. I never did feel comfortable at all um, with Diane Jenkins being there. She's fake. Like, Diane does not care about Ashley, so stop it. Uh, Avery, are you a fan of Diane Jenkins? Because I, I, I can't with this woman. It's heartbreaking to say, oh, yeah, I read that. Damn that, Ashley. I wanted Tracy to put her fighting sneakers on and take Ashley outside to put hands on her, Kyrie's. Me too. I wanted... Um, Tracy should have slapped the devil out of her and said, I'm damn beautiful. Because Tracy Abbott is. She could have whatever man she wants. So I don't appreciate Ashley saying that. But my boo, Tracy Abbott, that just wasn't right. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. Tracy's beautiful. Whew. Ashley, you're going to get yours for that. But however, do you think Ashley's going to go too far and try to kill Tucker? Is she going to manage to escape and kill Tucker? Or is she already committed? I didn't watch tomorrow's episode yet. You need to realize that identity, it was really altered Miss Abbott saying things to Billy, Jack, and Tracy. I don't care about Diane. Me neither. I'm glad that Ashley told the truth about Diane. However, I don't care. Alternate dissociation. I didn't disorder or not. Nobody disrespects my boo, Tracy Abbott. That broke my heart today. Okay? Nobody. You can say whatever you want about Billy and Jack. Have at it. But my boo, Tracy, we not having that. Oh, no, 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 no. Not my boo, Tracy Abbott. That's my boo there. And we all know I love me some Tracy Abbott. So I was never going to stand for that. However, I do like the friendship between Audra and Sally because they could both use new friends. Sally could use a break from Chloe complaining about Adam every second. Hey, Amber, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Miss Amber Gonzalez? Because but that just broke my heart, though. Seriously. Ashley knows that one of Tracy's issues is she had her father, Kyrie's. Ashley knew it, and she took advantage of it. How heartless of her. Yep. And that's why I need Ashley to get the help that she needs. So, therefore, she could apologize to Tracy Abbott. That broke Tracy's heart. Um. Tracy loves them all with all her heart unconditionally. And Ashley to say, basically call her ugly today, that I'm not about to hear that. You will hear tomorrow that Billy's going to tell Diane, Jack, Sharon, and Tracy on him having the same thing that Ashley had, especially when he talks about Delia's death, blaming Adam. Here he go. Here he go. Billy needs to blame himself for Delia's death. He left her in a car unattended. He's he's negligent and ignorant. He needs he should have went to jail for child endangerment. 
You don't leave a child alone in the in a car in the dark at night with a dog. That is parental negligence, and Billy should have should have been arrested for that. All right. Negligence, plain and simple. Melanie Corley sa says, hey to Darby and hey to Amber. And Adam did, and then people act like what's not acknowledging that story is that Adam did stop to see if he injured. So it, when, when he heard the bump, he did stop. He pulled over and stopped. Are you saying that Billy had DID issues too? Yep. Yeah. When he was popping that gum. Hey, Susan. How are you tonight? Um. But yeah, Billy needs to go take several seats. And I'm glad that the... The abbess let Tucker say what he had to say, though. But Tucker doesn't deserve to marry Audra. Susan Russo says he's doing, doing good. That's good. And, oh, yeah. And since Darby's here, I know that Darby watches wrestling as well. I had something to say. But Nikki hit Delia and Victor framed Adam. I'll never believe anything else. Exactly. Hey, la no, and perfect. You came in at the perfect time last day. CM Punk got vindicated today. That fight went exactly how CM Punk said it did. CM Punk said he approached Jack Perry and said, why do you want to do this stupid internet shit online on national TV, on TV? And then Jack Perry probably did say something that set him off, and CM Punk put him in a little chokehold, in a little uh, shove. CM Punk was the one that shoved him, and then put him in a in a in a stupid chokehold. That was less. I've seen elementary school fights go harder than that. That was just pathetic. CM Punk did not do anything that put that made Tony Khan fear for his life. Tony Khan is a liar and a fraud, and, and they work, the company's a joke, they work with children. So therefore, CM Punk is vindicated, my boy is vindicated. Let the church say amen. CM Punk did nothing to make me think would, fe would be fearful for my life. Jack Perry is still alive. Exactly. CM Punk did not do any of that thing to make Tony Khan fear for his life. Tony Khan is a liar. Like like every other billionaire. But the only difference is Tony Khan's a big pussy, too. That's the difference. Wow. But CM Punk is vindicated. CM Punk is a punk. Well, not really. He said what he had to say. CM Punk's not a liar, though. He's not a liar. He said it, he said it, he said the truth. That was the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Audra is too good for, for Tucker. She's no slut after all. Exactly, she could have easily had that payday, but she didn't. But I still laughed my ass off when Ashley called Audra the town bicycle. That was funny. You don't know that guy from Adam, Kyries. I know he didn't lie in that interview. He said he already told us what happened in that interview, and he didn't lie on that interview. That's what I know. Is that CM Punk did not lie on that interview. He was telling the truth, and Tony Khan is a is a joke. That's what I do know for sure. Darby. Please, please nothing. You're just letting your hatred blind you from the truth that CM Punk did not do anything to make Tony Khan fear for his life. Audra is growing on me. I hope they don't get rid of her like Lola. Mm -hmm. 
CM Punk said what happened. I do love that J- Joe was like, we could do our match, right? And then Dar- Darby 13 says, yeah, right. See, this is why you're a boomer, Darby. I figured you boom boomers like Darby are used to settling, settling scores with their fist. I'm sure that is the case. Y'all not used to all these security cameras. Kristen kidnapped Daniel, blackmailed Sammy, stole Brady and Teresa's fetus, and is edited in herself, drugged Eric, and paraded around as Nicole of a mask. Nicole has done more. more. You're a little punk. There you go, you old boomer. Darby. Darby's a boomer. But anywho, CM Punk was vindicated tonight. The last day, and I, your KC Punk, Kyries. Oh, oh, oh. And then last day says, your defender or CM Punk hater. He's a CM Punk hater. That's all. But I did watch Days of Our Lives today. That was really good, though. That was a good confrontation between Kristen and Nicole. They both were spilling each other's dirt. And... Kristen was like, you know what? You want to fight, Nicole? Let's fight. I was here for that. And my thing is, Nicole and the writers want to rewrite history. You want to act like, um, what was the face? Holly was, was, um, what, my question, Matt, about what did Holly do wrong? She's a, um, Kristen don't want a drug addict around Rachel. and But what Kristen is really mad about is that she's not getting any any D right now. My money's on Kristen Kyrie's. You know what? Me too, kind of. I think N- Nicole could beat up Salone, but she can't beat up um, Kristen. I'm just confused on what Holly did. Holly did those drugs and she lied about it. So that's what, but Kristen's just mad. She ain't getting laid right now. So that's all what Kristen's mad about. Nicole stole EJ and Sammy's baby, lied to Daniel about her baby died, blamed Jennifer and broke their relationship. So Nicole has done less things than Kristen. Kristen Newsflash, you're a criminal. Exactly. But Rachel is a brat. So Thing spoke the truth there because Rachel is a brat. And however, they, they're not going to insult my intelligence and say that Holly's been nothing but nice to Rachel all the time. When I know for a fact that Holly was trying to beat up Rachel over some Taylor Swift shampoo. And then when Holly said that um, to Rachel's face that, you know what, because of you, I wish I would have had a little brother instead. So we're going to just act like that day didn't happen. Like Christy didn't have to stop Holly from attacking Rachel. Physically, Kristen could kick Marlena's old butt any day of the week. Absolutely. Um, What does it have to do with her talking to Rachel? I mean, unless she's going to Rachel's drugs, I don't see the problem. Well, when you're a parent, you'll understand a little bit. But it wasn't really about that. She's just mad that she ain't getting laid. That's all. That's what this is really about. Nicole was not wrong that Rachel is an entitled brat to Kristen. Uh Uh-huh. Rachel is an entitled brat. I've been saying that for forever, that Rachel is the devil. I know it. She's a brat. Now, she's not even the devil. She's just Charlotte Cassidyne. That is who's the devil. Thing is just, um, Rachel is just a little brat. Nicole lied about Sydney to Sammy. Also, let's not forget what she did to that girl, Mia. 
Who's Mia? Not not you, Mia. We're talking about days of our lives. Who's who's Mia? Spill the tea last day or somebody, somebody that watched Days of Our Lives is going to tell me who Mia is. All the Demira kids are, including Holly, too. Yep. They're all a bunch of brats. Rachel's definitely a top candidate for being a brat. Because she is. A true brat. But you know what? She'll be all right. Well, no, she won't. She's Kristen 2.0. That's what she will be. Kristen 2.0. Also, hit that like button if you're enjoying. That really does help me keep this momentum going. I think we got, but we're doing good. We got 14 likes, 16 people here. So if you're enjoying, hit that like button, please. Um, at last day, says Kristen has done horrible things and Nicole has turned her life around and Kristen is still plotting against EJ. Yeah, um, I wonder which Mr. Shin is she talking to? Is she talking to Wendy's father or is she talking to Lee? Because a lot of people think Lee's still alive. So Kristen doesn't give a it about her daughter, so she's not a loving mom. Got it. Oh, she cares about her daughter, but this isn't about that it wasn't really about Rachel, it's about Brady right now. She's mad that she ain't getting laid, which I don't for the life of me, I don't understand because Brady is a four. Hey Solomon, how are you doing? Mr. Payne, did you see the young and the restless today? Did you see the disparaging the disparaging Things that Ashley said about our girl, Tracy Abbott. She said that the dad called her the beauty, basically implying that Tracy's ugly. Look, I don't care that she had DID. I'm not forgiving her for saying that until she apologizes. She better get on her hands and knees and kiss Tracy's feet. Brady is a four and what, Kyrie's? And nothing more. Brady is always going to be a four. Just like Trace, but Tracy Abbott is a six and a half. Yeah, she's a six and a half. Okay? That's what Tracy Abbott is. But Brady is stuck at a four. And I stand by that. But Sonny really thought he was, Tucker belongs with Tracy. That's better, Kyrie's. Don't let it happen again. LOL. Not don't let it happen again. Nicole, I'm, I've never liked her in the past 18 years. I'm not going to start now, especially since she's about to leave. Nicole's daughter became a drug addict, bad parent. Well, don't you worry, last day, because I believe Holly, Eric, Nicole, and the baby are about to be leaving. Kyrie's, who's your favorite wrestler? My son loves Roman and The Rock. I liked Shawn Michaels' Sweet Chain Music. Uh, my favorite wrestler right now, temporarily, is Cody Rhodes for the time being. But... Actually, and I I do love me some female wrestlers. So I love my boo Naomi, who her, her real name is Trinity. So that's actually my favorite uh, overall. It's Trinity Naomi. There we go. Yes, I saw today's episode it was hard to watch because I don't like the storyline. Ashley, better watch it because Tracy's gonna fight her one day. Oh, you damn right. Tracy better beat her behind. Tracy was jealous of Ashley Abbott. Sorry, I'm late. Family emergency. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear about your family emergency, Dewan. But Tracy has no reason to be jealous of Ashley. Okay. Um, Tracy, she got her life together. 
She has her mental fa faculties together. Well, Ashley can't keep a man. I love Naomi too. I, I, I got to see her live once during the Feel the Glow era. It was such a, an amazing entry. Me too. I got to see her live too. When when she was at the TD Garden. Yeah, that's that's who my overall favorite wrestler is actually. Naomi. Salone needs money, so she's going to defend Stefan for his criminal charges of drug trafficking and money laundering next week, April 15th. I thought Stefan was gone already. Because I thought he was leaving the show for a little while. Honestly, I don't like Holly. I don't know why there's something about her. I have hated most blonde women on soap opera, so I've decided to like one. And that's Holly. Currently, Trick Williams, all-time John Cena. When is Naomi going to join her husband, Jimmy, in the bloodline? Naomi is bigger than the bloodline if they do it right, okay? Naomi don't need the bloodline. The bloodline need Naomi. So now that um, Roman Reigns is gone, they can give Naomi Roman Reigns' push. That needs to happen. I'm just happy you didn't say Bianca, but oh, how now? Brandon Barash as Stefan Demera is back next week. Uh, are you insane, Kyrie's? Nope. I stand by it. Naomi is the star of the show. And I don't appreciate that little tissue time Tiffany Stratton got to beat my boo, Naomi, multiple times. That's my boo. So little tissue time, needs to go sit her, her ass down. Bianca is all that. Please. Bianca Belair and her stank braid could go somewhere. She had her time in the spotlight. My boo Naomi is back, and she's taking over, damn it. She's taking over. My favorite wrestler is probably CM Punk. Ow, 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 because he was vindicated tonight. He was vindicated tonight. He was vindicated tonight. That's the man of the hour. Because it's funny. He had the fans chanting his name. The WWE is on tiffy, tiffy time now. Nope, it's on tissue time every time she's on my screen. EJ is holding a press conference, and he's going to face some scrutiny on Monday, March 15th. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He was vindicated. Everybody, the majority online is on CM Punk's side because they know he was telling the truth. Everyone knows he was telling the truth. He did not pretend to be the victim here. He said that he was the one that approached Jack Perry, and he did. And he said he didn't punch Jack Perry, and he didn't. And he said he didn't do anything to make Tony Khan fear for his life, which he didn't. So therefore, CM Punk is telling the truth. Tony Khan is a bitch. Plain and simple. She was jealous of Ashley. Jade Cargill runs this show. Jade Cargill, please. Naomi is the star. I know who is going to interrupt Johnny and Chanel at the Horton cabin. So do you want me to spoil it? I have a feeling it's Clyde and Officer Nightmare Goldman. That's who I have a feeling did it. I want Goldman to get what's coming to her for what she did to my boo, Wendy. Like, Wendy needs to scrap with Officer Goldman real quick. Just fight her. Just get her one good time and fight her. Okay, I don't care that Officer Goldman thinks that she's a cop. She probably bought her badge anyways, or slept her way to the top. Well, injured, so he doesn't he he doesn't technically count right now until he comes back. Are you sure about that? No, I'm not. So you could um you could spoil it for me if you want. Tony Khan may be ish, but CM Punk will always be a troublemaking a ho. Well, yeah, he is an asshole, but so what? At least he's an honest one. 
Audra needs to move on with her life and do better things than babysit elderly Tucker. Tucker only wants her for her hips and her lips. That's it. What's what's love got to do? Got to do? What's got to do with it? Nothing. You want those people? Jade is great. What was her outfit at WrestleMania? Why did she divide half her body? Not divide half her body. That was funny. Julie will be interrupting them, Melanie. What? Julie? Ew. I was expecting someone. Well, you know what? The less I see of Officer Goldman is better. Melanie, do you know when she when Officer Goldman is going to Kyrie's is going to be Julie that is going to interrupt Johnny and Chanel? Trick Williams is currently favored until CM Punk can't, comes back from injury. I'm a big CM Punk fan. I'm an even bigger CM Punk fan after tonight. He carried AEW on his back. He's the bigger star than any one of them could ever be. He went and signs all these big stars. But guess what? CM Punk is still the biggest star. And they're nothing without him because they're embarrassing. Better question is why are you watching her so much last day? Ava better be careful taking other people's pills. Now, that's one thing I didn't like. Are you high? No, I'm not high. I meant everything I was said. It was supposed to be me to just tell you the spoilers. Hey, Ava better be careful. Thank you. I'm I'm so happy you're here, Spider Quake. Tell Darby the truth. You know what, Spider Quake? This is the one time I give you permission to tell to to do all your shenanigans today. Go ahead and because Darby needs to needs to hear it very loud and clear that CM Punk was vindicated. Everything CM Punk said was true. And please, Spider Quake, back me up here and tell Darby that he's delusional. He's been delusional all night long, but now he's got to deal with you. You have my permission to be your 100 percent annoying self. Go tell Darby the truth. In all caps. Punk used AEW as a stepping stone to get his foot back into wrestling. And he's a bigger draw than every single person that they hired. And Dewan, you are 100% right about A um, Ava better be careful taking other people's pills. Yes, Ava was out of line to take Sonny's medication to begin with. That's wrong with her. I don't care that she wanted to sleep. She better go to the. She better go um, go order Uber Eats, and they'll go deliver her some Benadryl or some Tylenol PMs, heifer. But however, that was a storyline plot for her to um, figure out that Sonny's pills are being messed with. I told you my Ava wouldn't do it, and Spider Quake and everybody else needs to. They owe my Ava an apology. Because I told y'all my Ava was a good woman and I was proven right. Between CM Punk shit, no one cares about Will Ospreay talking shit about Triple H and AEW embarrass itself. I'm sure WWE going to clap back at AEW huge time now. Another favorite wrestler of mine is Chris Jericho. Another, yeah, I don't like him. But AEW going to regret this crap. They sure is. And Solomon Payne says, whenever, when Ashley daydreamed about her three different personalities, all I could do is fall asleep. Hello, Al. Julie is still at the cabin with Johnny and Chanel and a big snowstorm going on. Chanel goes outside getting lost on April 16th. Melanie, do you have any um, spoilers of Officer Goldman getting what's coming to her? Could you please let me know? If you come across anything, if Wendy's going to beat up Officer Goldman one good time, I want to see Clyde and Officer Goldman suffer for what they did to my Wendy. So um, could you could you keep me in the loop of when that's going to happen? Because I have no idea when that's going to happen, but I know that Officer Goldman needs to get what's coming to her. I hate her with a purple passion and Clyde for what they did to my Wendy. I don't even know what, what CM Punk said. 
Me neither, but um, I know that Jack Perry probably did say, if you don't like it, do something about it. And then CM Punk shoved him and then choked, put him in a stupid halfway chokehold. That was just embarrassing. AEW, also, AEW muted its footage, laughing my... Mm-hmm. Because they know everything CM Punk said was right. They trying to make... And it backfired tremendously. It backfired on them. CM Punk could make himself look bad better than AEW could. They could they botch everything that they do. They really thought that was going to embarrass CM Punk when it went exactly how he had said he did. Read my other comment. What? By the way, all AEW did is just help WWE because now Drew McIntyre is going to use this for his rivalry with CM Punk. You're right. Ava is moving out of Trip and Wendy's apartment, and Harris is over there helping her pack on Tuesday, April 16th. Good. Ava's trash. Ava Vitale is trash. What would you give that impression that I like Hope Logan? There's no secret. There's no secret love. I just don't like her. Well, you more than don't like her last day. I think we've established that. You despise Hope Logan almost as much as I despise Brooke Logan. Yes, I will keep you on the loop of Clyde and Officer Goldman information. I'm coming. Yep. We got WCW 2.0. You damn right. Also, reminders, Heartbreak High Season 2 is coming out tomorrow. April 11th, I will be talking about it on this live stream. So for everyone, mainly Spider Quake, do not try to heckle that whatsoever. Don't try to say, oh, don't talk about this trash. Yes, you don't say that. If you're not going to watch it, then that's your business. But don't try to heckle me on that because I'm trying to promote that to get a Netflix audience up in here so I could expand this audience to both daytime and primetime audience. AEW's been dying for a while, but this was the this put the nail on the coffin. The whole crowd was chanting for CM Punk after that. So see all Tony Khan did was prove what a lying failure he is and why his daddy should have taken away his trust fund a long time ago. AEW just sucks, and this is awful. AEW's pay-per-view, 7,000, 8,000. I learned that Wendy has a brown belt in Taekwondo, Kyrie, so you might get a fight scene between those two, from those two. Absolutely. Wendy's going to F Officer Goldman up. Um, and who did Sonny Corinthos think he... So I know Sonny threatened to kill Jason Morgan today. How did y'all, y'all deadbeat defenders feel about that? I know there's a whole lot of absentee bad dad co-signers up in here. So how did the bad dad co-signers feel about Sonny threatening to kill Jason Morgan today? I know it wouldn't make a difference to Jake or Danny if Sonny did it. So I want to hear from Jason's defenders. Marlena is ready to help John recover his memories of his time as Aria as the pawn to find out if he killed Katharina. So it's going to be hypnosis on April, on Wednesday, April 17th. I hope Rebecca G doesn't hurt my Wendy Kyrie. Oh, absolutely not. Wendy is going to hurt Rebecca Goldman. Finn is being all like, she is pretty dead, dude. There's no way she's alive to Deacon was dumb. Like, Sheila hasn't ever faked her death. Exactly. 
Tyrese has been established beyond hate. Eric is investigating into Salone's financial situation with Salone on Wednesday, April 17th. Yep. That bum is on the case. The bum is on the case. Yeah, um, the bald and the beautiful, that was the least interesting soap today by far. Like, Obviously, they're going to make Deacon look like he's crazy. And tomorrow, he's going to have a scene with Ridge. This is probably where Ridge is going to be such a douchebag. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And Luna swears she's going to tell RJ the truth this time around. Why didn't she Ben tell Fat Chest Boy what was going on? Why does Jake or Danny like Michael since he, he's the one who took their father from them? Michael was over 30 years old, for crying sake. Uh-huh. They should hate him. Anyone that hates Michael is good in my book. And I kind of wish Nell would come back alive and kidnap Wiley and turn Wiley against Willow. CM Punk already responded back. What did he say? What did he say? Hold up, Spider Quay. Um, what did he say? Let me, let me Google that right now. I'm here for anything that gets rid of Wiley. I can't stand that kid with that dumbass name. Jason, I gotta protect Michael. You called Ava Jerome trash. I did not. I called Ava Vitale trash. Maggie is considering doing something drastic and is marrying Constantine so he does not leave the cup. Maggie, no! Wiley sounds like a drug. Make sure you don't take too much of it, Wiley. <laughs> no. Well, and I do have him on Instagram. I looked at his Instagram, but what the F did he say? No, that probably wasn't even his real Instagram then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He didn't say crap. He sent a picture, mission accomplished. Where? I'm on his Instagram right now. Where did he say that? Which picture? on his Instagram. He did respond back. I don't see it. So you know what? I will I'll find it later cuz I don't see it. That probably wasn't really CM Punk's profile. Nah, I've never seen Heartbreak High. Well, you'll be hearing about it tomorrow. Because there's going to be some good action. And they better not disappoint me. And Harper has a lot of explaining to do. Kristen spends time with Stefan. And they're conspiring on how to keep EJ from taking over as CEO of the family business on Thursday, April 18th. Watch when Sheila turns out alive. Finn's dumbass is going to be shocked. Mm-hmm. 
He sure will be. But at least Jason questioned that. Check CM. I just did. I was just on his Instagram and his story. I was just on that. I am subscribed to him, right? Yeah. It's at CM Punk. I am on his story. Oh, now I see it. Soaps have corny fight scenes. They sure do. Hey, George. How are you? Jason, A.W. just... Just effed around and they're going to find out. Uh huh. The CM Punk is the best star they ever had and they blew it because Tony Khan don't know how to run a business. Well, now Hope might might be the reason RJ lose Luna. Rafe is pressuring Everett to sign the divorce papers on February, April 19th. See, I don't like Rafe. Why does Rafe need to be involved? This is not a race business. I don't care that he's sleeping with Jada. It's still none of his business. So, it's none of his dang business. The real reason RJ loses Luna is because she found out she loves that pipe. Jason is a very, is a good man, a very good man. Okay, Ron. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm lost for words. Yeah, CM Punk is a good man. He's been vindicated. But that old Boomer Darby can't see reason. How does Rafe pressure... Everett. Probably with physical intimidation, but Everett looks like he could hold his own against Rafe's blockhead. Rafe is such a blockhead. Well, I'm blaming Hope because I like to blame Hope for everything also. I'm not a big fan of making fun of like that with Pipe. Zende is pathetic, basically begging Luna to give him some. If fat chest boy leaves her, does he need a female in his life that badly? I don't know why he won't go to hope. Everybody gets a turn with the Logans. They're open more than door handles. Does Mia smell that stuff you smoke, Kyrie? So be quiet, Darby. Apparently so, Solomon. Apparently so. Good one, Kyrie. What did I say? I almost forgot what I said already. Ugh, crap, I see what we're doing. Never mind. No, Clarky. Oh, oh, oh. Why is it doing that? Open like doors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Forgot about that. All right. Why did Nikisha and why did you and Nikisha get passions canceled? I don't know. Because why not? 
passions didn't deserve to stick around then. They didn't want to get canceled. They should have stepped their game up, but they didn't want to do that. I guess I got to put you on the charger. Let me see something. One moment, y'all. I'm not ignoring anyone. I promise. I ain't ignoring you. I promise you that. Ah, crap. That's all the way over there, too. That's just great. CM Punk is the hero in all of this. And that is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. My boy Zende was literally standing there about if things don't work out between you and RJ, give me a chance. Go go get your ass home and get some rest. Exactly. Like, Zende is a straight-up predator. Like, oh, he's so creepy. Like, go sit down. Passions was a much better show than B&B. &B. It had Pinocchio, Witch, and Love Drama. Was Passions the one where Tabitha had a baby? Bobby got hypnotized by Marlena and had that evil smirk on his face, and he married Jada and was seeing Stephanie on the side. Mm mm. That ain't right. It just ain't right. But Nina should give up on Willow because Willow is not a prize worth fighting for. She's weak. Very, very, very weak. And so is Carly. Carly is a weak woman, too, when you think about it. She, oh, she claims she's so strong, she don't need a man. But yet she always, they always end up saving her behind anyways. The only one that really didn't need a man to get crap done was Helena Cassidyne. She is a strong, evil woman. That woman was a menace to society. And Laura and Kevin were so boring, talking about Ace. I'm like, if they don't sit there geriatric old asses down somewhere, I'm like, oh, God. Ashley is not going to live, give up on Tucker, and her family is desperate to save her from herself April 15th to April 19th. They need to have her committed. Tyrese Clark, what would you do if you met Cynthia Watros in person at a fan event and, and they were bullying her? I would jump in. I would tell them to go straight to hell. I would be like, that's why you haven't gotten laid in about 10 years. You big around, your big belly in that. I'd be like, now you better get out of her face before I slap you, you big belly bitch. That's what I would have said to those trolls that are coming at Cynthia Watrose. He's done that before. Sonny hated Jason because of Carly before temp the tampering. Willow is weak and is probably going to chase her at Michael. She forgave Harmony for having heard the R word by the cult guy. Sharon is going to be a big part in this storyline with Ashley next week on April 15th to April 19th. Yep, just... Put some handcuffs on her and send her to the crazy home. Get her some medication. No, get her some strong needles, and she'll be all right. She will be all right, my girl Ashley. And maybe give her a little bit of surgery. And my thing is, why aren't they telling her daughter? Like, I get that Abby's not included in the Newman's drama. You know what I meant, don't you? Yep, I know exactly what you meant. Kyrie's Clark, Cynthia Watchers could be in here. I hope so. If she is, hey, Cindy. What's up, girl? Big Bertha sounds like the type of person that would bully 
Cynthia watch Rosetta fan event. Yeah, big burly Bertha. I didn't feel comfortable saying that. I, I get you. Audra is on Ashley's radar, and that could be a problem the following week. But Audra's not trying to be the town bicycle anymore. So Ashley needs to get her life together. All right, Dewan. You, you made your point. And Blaze and Christina are so boring together because Blaze is boring as a character. I was wondering where Justin is. I watched all 57 minutes of his um, Raw review last night. I thought it was really good. I watched 57 minutes of it. So I'm hoping Justin makes an appearance so I could tell him how much I enjoyed it. I enjoyed his his take on the Rhea Ripley matter because Rhea Ripley after around there found out karma came up and caught up to her. Rhea Ripley threw that chair at her. I mean, with Liv Morgan, she's done playing with, with Rhea. Rhea thought she's going to get away with taking those months off of Liv Morgan's career, but oops, Liv Morgan got that ass. Jordan's return comes over into the week of April 15th to April 19th with her finale ramping up. No, I'm going to cry when Aunt Jordan is killed off. I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to have a meltdown when my Aunt Jordan is finally. Kyrie, you what? She ain't burly, Kyrie. She was just born with big bones. 5'2 and 260 isn't bad anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Payne be tripping. <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> Kyrie Clark didn't want Tabitha to have a baby. Nope. More of New Harrison next week, April 15th to April 19th. Awesome. I'm here for it. But uh, I did not enjoy Curtis and Portia's scenes together. Ugh. Like, first of all, I don't like Portia, and I hate Curtis. So that's just a – so the fact that they're together, that makes them worse. Does any Is anyone here a fan of Portia? Robinson, if so, please explain why. That water was bomb. Hi, Mia. Drew is a prize worth fighting for, unlike Sonny. Wrong. They're both not prizes. Am a fan of her wig. Not the wig. You know, I, some a commenter did come in there and, and gave me the smoke for that. I got a new commenter to talk about. You thought that was fun? That's her natural hair. And her hair is beautiful. And blah, 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 blah. But I, I handled her nicely. Nina's met her match with Drew. You damn right. But, however, Drew is still not a prize. Yes, it's giving me Whitney 1987. I want to dance here, there. But, no, but someone someone gave the smoke to me, though. I'm going to read their comment, too. Uh, one second. You know, why do I do that when I could just do this? I'm so dumb. 
Oh, Lord. One second, y'all. I'm about to share this screen with y'all to read y'all the comment on on one second. Right here. How is that funny? Those are Brooke Kerr's natural hair and curls. Y'all got some nerve trying to be funny with the Whitney reference. You thought you ate that, huh? Bad comment. I said, her hair look a mess. It's much better when it's straighter. She said, negative. Her curls are cute. Wrong. I said, 35 years ago, which was long before my time, Maybe, but how now? When she straightens her hair, she looks gorgeous. She's still gorgeous, but that hairdo ain't it. I'm I'm not the only one who said it, but to each its own. He said, well, I've been watching Brooke ever since her hair. She was in her the soap opera's passions. I'm 35 now, and I like her curly hair. You're right, each to their own. So therefore, I... I agree that her hair look a mess. Her hair looks a mess. I just said the Whitney could sing part. I didn't give you the, no, not you. The, yours wasn't the comment that I read, was it? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Adam and Chelsea continue to process how they're blaming themselves for Connor's OCD next week, April 15th to April 19th. Helena wins. She has more killers at her disposal. But look, Portia's hair looks gorgeous when it's straightened out. Because she looks like a whole different person. Tracy is making some progress, though. I really can't recognize her since her big weight loss. You damn right, Mr. Payne. I'm glad that someone has does, who doesn't need glasses. Because, see, I had another comment about Heather. What about Heather the heathen? Heather's a man stealing heathen. That's what Heather is. She's a man stealer. But but what'd you say say, Miss Melanie? Why don't Adam just say, F this, I'm taking our kid home to help him live with his disability. You know, because he don't got it like that. Chelsea's the mom, Adam's the dad, but they got to, you know, learn how to co-parent without that stupid chance getting in her face. Why did you want to get passions canceled, Kyrie? Because why not?
I'm vindictive. But, yeah. But all right, everybody, this is a fun little stream. Short, short and sweet, but I will be back tomorrow with a nice long, with a nice stream about Heartbreak High, General Hospital, Young and the Restless, Bald and the Beautiful, but have a great night, Melanie Corley. Have a good, great night, Gemini. Have a great night, Darby. Dads don't get respect. Good dads anyways. F you, Jason. You damn right. Have a good night, Queen Nikisha. Have a good night, Mr. Payne. Have a good night, Shannon. Have a good night, Susan. I was a Dalton, but I had to give you the view. What are you, what are you talking about? Were you talking? I'll be engaging tomorrow night. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank Yes, thank you, Gemini. You're the best. Love you. Love you all. See you all tomorrow. Peace.